John Davies, you're the general manager of the World Ahead program at Intel. Intel, the gold partner for this event, the, the private sector partner. Uh, WeSys is very much a, just designed as a multi-stakeholder, bottom-up process involving governments, but also private sector, civil society, as a very important private sector member of this process. Uh, do you feel that it's effective in bringing in companies such as Intel? I think WISIS is doing a good job of bringing the industry in. You can see that growing. I've been to a number of different WISIS. Um, Craig Barrett, as CEO, chairman, was at the first one in 2005. And we've been coming back to those since. And we come back to them because I think it's a benefit to industry and it's a benefit to the people we contact here. And the World Ahead program, it's your responsibility. Uh, what is the, uh, the main objective of that program? Well, the world ahead is really about digital divide. It's to reach more people. Um, close to three billion people now have internet capabilities, but there's over seven billion people in the world. And we put programs together with governments all around the world and other industries to target those, that group of people that don't have internet capabilities. Every country is different, every program is different, but many of the best practices are the same. And the sharing of those is critical. Uh, Intel is a, a huge company, uh, primarily in the developed world. Uh, what's your interest in the developing world? Presumably the margins aren't there as they are in the developed world. But there's far more people in the developing world and they're hungry for IT. IT can change their lives. And you can do this in a way with business models that are right for what the people, they can afford, provide them what they need to afford. And you can do it in a way that's good for the industry as well. And it's the segmentation. You may not always get as much. Um, you'll maybe provide a service that might be a little bit less, but it'll be at a dramatically reduced price. And it can be a service that's good enough for what the people want to do their businesses, to do their education. And um, you just target it for the group of people you're targeting. There's going to be a review of this process next year, as you know, 2015. Uh, what do you hope will happen beyond 2015 with regards to this process? Well, 2015 and beyond is looking at sustainability. And you can look at that through many different lenses. I tend to think of sustainability in two ways. Number one is sustainability is if it's affordable and provides benefits that generates itself. An example um, where we're working in, in Bangladesh and India on soil fertilizers uh, that can get analyzed on the PC and the farmers can get more crops and reach their marketplace. If they have a productive far, small substance farm, they can make money, that becomes sustainable. Or if the ladies in India that are providing the services to the people in their villages, the uh, government services, the bill paying services, if they're making money, that's sustainable. It doesn't need enormous subsidy funds, in many cases aren't there, it's a business and if people are making money, they're going to do more of that. So that's one version of sustainability. The second one that we're seeing a lot of is the resources on the planet. The energy, the climate, the impact, what can be dug out of the ground um, in it. And that's going to come in as well. And ICT can play a major role in that. We're doing all sorts of work on smart cities. How do you reduce power? How do you get traffic flowing? What's smart signage? Many, many different types of programs. A big example on energy is when we first introduced the core processors five years ago, they were run at 35 watts. These were the biggest processors you could put in workstations. We've just introduced the core M version a week ago, two watts. 35 watts down to two watts, except the two watt version is much, much higher performance than the 35 watt version was five years ago. That's a 17x reduction. Do the same in servers, so you can do it in the equipment and energy savings and you can use IT in the Internet of Things, control the traffic, um, the Wi-Fi cameras, control the traffic for security and all of those areas. That's about sustainability because it's planet resources and I think ICT has a tremendous role in it and as the goals get set, the industry and governments could figure out how ICT can help enable those goals. So next year you'll be pushing for a focus in that area? You have to push for a focus in sustainability because that MDGs become sustainable development goals. Look at somewhere like Africa where you have a billion people and in the next 50 years there'll be two billion people. Look at the migration of everyone, the mega migration to big cities. How do you manage the traffic? How do you manage the energy? How do you manage the climate? And there's all sorts of work being done on Internet of Things 
for managing machines, for managing energy, for managing traffic control, for managing um, helping people in lives to save resources. The industry has some of this, the planet needs that, and you bring that cooperation around as well to make that happen. Are we pushing for that hard? Because it's needed, it's required. John Davies, thank you very much Thanks. for speaking to us today. Connor, pleasure, thank you.